Hey everyone, in this video we will discuss vector art and how to create it using Adobe Illustrator. So open this application with these customized preset settings. And create project. You can see the layer size showing vertical. Now right click on rectangle tool to expand more tool options located here. Then click on the ellipse tool and go to fill and stroke option and click none to fill color to create ellipse shape. Click on scissor tool to cut shape from center so we can easily select half shape. Now create rectangle layer and create a small dot again with the help of ellipse tool. Then click on direct selection tool and hover your mouse over the dot. Click on the anchor point and press the alt key while dragging towards the right. Now again click on selection tool and change size of the ellipse shape. Align it properly. Select one ellipse, press W and then click on second ellipse shape to blend it from right to left. Now select blend by pressing the alt button. So you can see this showing positive sign with cursor and drag it to the bottom. To repeat the process press ctrl D and fill entire rectangle with dots. Now enable your symbols panel from window tab. and drag entire rectangle layer into this panel and rename it to save as a symbol. Any name you can give it. Click on the ellipse from the left cut side then go to effects tab and click on the revolve under the 3D option. You can see the change shape of ellipse. But if we click the right edge option then it's going to make a sphere. Press OK. Now again go to properties of the ellipse and click on 3D revolve to go to map art option and make sure the surface shouldn't display like this otherwise you can change from this option now simply select symbol from drop down option and adjust it accordingly you can also check adjustment by this option in visible geometry You can also change position from here. Now save it as a PNG file. In Adobe Photoshop, open Batsman image and go to select option then click on subject you can see the selected area of image and some area we will select manually 
Now zoom it and click on subject selection tool. Then click subtract from selection option and deselect the area. You can also use polygonal lasso tool. Now adjust image brightness and contrast. And press Ctrl X and Ctrl V to separate the layer. Select brush and fill the deselected area of background with white color and adjust the image size. Now open illustrated image in Photoshop. Then select and paste it on batsman image. Overlap and adjust it properly. On the same layer, click on normal drop down and select screen option. Now change the color of background layer. And then reselect layer 2. And use smudge tool by selecting darken option. to remove extra shades. Select layer 1 and right click to select blending options and change gradient overlay of image. Now select Razor tool and remove white overlay of layer 2. Zoom in and create space between arms of this image by removing color with the help of selection and lasso tools. Clear space by razor tool. We just need to take concept from other vector arts. We can transform any idea, any design. As we have created this vector art, So now open your mockup file. I have also provided link in description. So you can download it easily. We can also create our own mockup file but it will be a different topic with a long video. So right now we are focusing only to create vector art in this video. Simple copy and paste this vector art on t-shirt under main 3 group and move this layer mask named as front on vector art. Now we can experiment to change colors by hiding and changing brightness and contrast in this mockup file. Now we will move this vector art down to make space for text.
and we will also change brightness and contrast to dark inner color of t-shirt on this layer. We can also change the opacity of vector art from here. So we have created one design. Now we will change neck and sleeves color by simply hiding and displaying layers in this mockup file. 